Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a very different setup and I wanted to do a video on how to make your sofa look expensive. So this is our lovely sofa. You've probably seen it if you've watched some of my other videos. Um, I've done a house tour with it in and there's a couple of other videos. I mention it. I am a big fan of this sofa and I will go into some more details on the sofa as we go through the video, but this sofa is actually from Next Home. It is the Farrell sofa. I know that they don't actually do that sofa anymore, but there is another one that's similar, so I will link it down below. I wanted to show you today exactly how I like to style my sofa and make it look as appealing as well to other people when they come round. I do take that extra bit of care when we have got guests to make sure the cushions are plumped and things like that. So I wanted to just go through the process on how you can make your sofa look a bit more expensive as well. I hope you get lots of inspiration from this and if there is anything that I show you that you like the look of, I will try and link everything down below. So do go and have a look at that. Okay, I'm currently crouching, so I am gonna be getting on with this video right now. So this is our sofa. I'm gonna give you a closer look before I start doing anything. And I wanted to show you the fabric to start with. So you can see here actually, it has got a texture to it. And we did this on purpose really, so that it wasn't really rough, but at the same time, it was hard wearing and we wanted it to last a long time. So we didn't want like any of like get something maybe velvet or suede or anything and then the fabric to be crushed so it is a really hard wearing gray fabric which we really like about the sofa we also went for a more firm cushion and they retain their shape much more easily so you have to ask for this we actually went and bought this in store and it was something that we asked for in particular so it's it's definitely more firm so that just means that again not only do the does the sofa not lose its shape but you don't have to spend ages plumping everything i mean we've had this sofa for two years we do have to re-plump these top cushions quite a bit but we've got the more solid base cushions so that they withstand a bit more. So another trick, and I'm gonna actually pull these cushions out to do and really to make the sofa look that more, much more expensive, especially when people come round. So we have actually put something underneath our cushions and this is underneath um, all of them actually. We've bought this off Amazon and it's anti-slip matting. So without them, it's just the kind of base fabric and this is really soft and we were finding the cushions were slipping forward, which was so annoying. So we've actually just, you just cut it into size. We've got a little bit extra there. We've just folded over, but these cushions now don't move at all with this underneath. It is brilliant. So I would highly recommend you purchasing some of that and cutting it to size for your sofa so the cushions don't slip off. Okay, so we're onto the fun bit in my eyes. <laughs> And we have a theme in this room of the navies. We've got a blue rug here as well. I do really want to get a new rug, but we'll ignore that for now. We went with a navy and a pink theme to this room. So the cushions we got represent that. So first up, we have a few cushions here. And again, this is another tip to make the sofa look more expensive. We actually purposely went for a mix of fabrics. So we've got our velvet cushion here. We've got this jacquard base fabric as well with the lighter cream color, creamish white color that pops through. So that gives it a bit more lightness to it. And then we've got this and it's actually a chenille fabric. So this is the light pink. Again, a mix of fabrics does make it look much more rich and appealing and expensive. So the way I like to dress the sofa is have the three cushions up this one end, and that is what, like obviously the bigger side with the L. And then we've gone with a mismatched um, kind of approach to the other side. So we haven't got on this side the um, dark navy, and that is just to bring a bit more lightness Again, we can mix and match and change the order of the cushions if we want to, so they look a bit more throw on. But I do actually really like the navies closer to the back and it getting lighter into the pink. I think that looks really nice. 
So another tip that you can do is to bring more colour and tie everything in together is to actually get a throw. So this throw that we have here is actually from Ikea, so it's not an expensive throw at all. But again, we've gone with texture to kind of bring that interest into the sofa again and to tie in the cushions and the curtains and make everything flow a bit better. So you can see here, I've just tucked it across this arm of the sofa. You could also have it from top to bottom and even covering the crease maybe, if that's what you want to do. That's how a lot of things are currently styled now, I've noticed in Ikea actually. And that's kind of brings a bit more interest to the sofa and breaks up some of the gray. So actually I'll show you that now as well, if, if that is something that you'd like to do. <laughs> there we go and then you can just play with the positioning so I've got it here right now you can move it further across if you wanted and I think it's nice that it's slightly off center just make sure you're cutting off the labels especially if it's an Ikea blanket and a throw that's on the cheaper side you don't want the huge Ikea label hanging out then if feather cushions are more your thing I actually have this feather cushion I've prepared earlier that I can actually swap out. So you can see what feathers do to the look of the sofa. So right now, all the innards of these cushions are the microfiber ones. I just put that there and I just give that a chop. So for our sofa, I actually quite like the microfiber ones because they're more rigid. And as much as I love a feather cushion on our bed, I feel with the sofa, because it, it has the folds within the fabric, if you just look at it on its own, it could look quite, quite relaxed, if, that, if that's even the way to describe it. I think having the more solid block squares and rectangles added to the sofa, I think actually I prefer having the microfiber. But again, it's up to you what your preference is. I do love a feather cushion, just not not on our sofa and you can spend ages plumping and replumping cushions but i think once it's pretty much there you're good just try and take one from this angle as well actually i would tuck this in as well just to give it that final edge there we are that is the finished sofa and that is really my way of styling it with the L-shaped sofa that's really popular. And then just above you can see actually we've got our frames of our photos. Again, those are from Ikea, the photo rails. And then all the photos within them are decennio prints that you can see there. But yeah, I hope that's given you some inspiration and maybe some like colors as well for your own living room, lounge and sofa makeover. Yes, you're back to Crouching Page. So thank you so much for watching my video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you are new here, then please do go and give me a subscribe, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell so you're kept up to date with all my latest uploads. I post on a Wednesday and a Friday and I give you homeware inspiration and then also some first time buyer advice as well from our own experiences. So if that is something that you're interested in, definitely do go and give me a follow. I would love it for you to be subscribed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again really soon. Bye.